Hello, I hope you're doing well. In today's class, you'll be learning a five pose sequence using an open hammock. Your aim for this flow is to practice smoothing out the transitions as you control the fabric. You'll also be learning how to do an inverted butterfly with an open hammock where it encapsulates your shoulders. There's no particular height setting for today's class. Let's get started. Today's class is going to start in an open hammock shavasana inside of the hammock. So I invite you, before you get inside of your hammock and you can't see me, then maybe you watch through this first round so you can see what's coming up, get familiar with my cueing and what will be coming up during the sequence. Then for the second round, we can go through it all together. So you're gonna be a little bit more familiar with the sequence and you can understand where we're going and the cues that I'm saying. So for this first round, you're welcome to watch first and then get into the hammock, or you can come straight into the hammock if you're confident to follow along with me. Let's get started by coming inside of the hammock. So you'll grab one edge, wave it on out, and then turn your back to the hammock. Thumbs are gonna come inside, wider than hip width distance apart. Then you're gonna grab about three or four rounds of the hammock with your fingers coming into the palms of the hands. And then bring your thumbs outside of the hammock as you step back underneath your plumb line or underneath your rigging point. You're then going to push down, bring the glutes inside, and then bring the shoulders to the other side, find that back edge. So you can bring your head and shoulders down inside of the hammock, laying down all the way. Bring the feet inside as well. And notice if you can bring a little bit of hammock over the feet, so the toes aren't coming out of the hammock and the hands can rest over the head, outside of the hammock. And let's take a couple of rounds of breath here, take a big inhale, a big exhale. One more big inhale, and a big exhale. I'm going to reach up onto that back side of the hammock, the edge that's closest to you. Bring your knees in towards your chest, bending the knees, pulling up, so you're lifting up the head and shoulders. The hands come around the outside. You might even find a little hug of the knees into the chest. And then grab that back side of the hammock once again, bringing shoulders and head outside of the hammock into an inverted cobra. You're welcome to keep your hand grip on the hammock, really tightening through the glutes to protect the lower back. If you feel okay here, then maybe you can release the hands, back of the hands towards the ground. You're then going to bring your feet nice and wide. So bring your chin into your chest so you can grab onto the hammock so you feel control. Widen through the legs. Bring the feet to the face side of the hammock. So like you're in your inverted goddess, but you have an open hammock position through the body. Again, the hands can come back onto the ground if you feel okay here. Your toes are locking you into place. Those feet are locking you into the hammock. Bring your chin into your chest. Look up, grabbing behind your knees. Unlock the feet, bring them back out wide and back together. Notice that the hammock is over the toes. You might need to walk them in a little bit. Climb, climb, climb. I'm gonna come through for a squatting frog. So bring the knees wide, feet in towards each other. Soles of the feet together. Pulling your hips over, sorry, pulling your hips over your ankles, shoulders over your hips. So pulling up all the way, leaning the hip flexors into the hammock or the inner thighs into the hammock. And you can rest the inner arms against the hammock, keeping hold of that back edge one at a time. It'll come to the front. So you've got all that extra fabric through the middle of the hammock into the front. I'm going to come into chicken arms here, chicken wings. So bring both edges of the hammock into one hand. That hand that's now free, so you've got hammock maybe in the right hand, left hand will come down. You're going to gri grip palm face away from you. Grab that outer edge on the other side of the hammock with your fingers. So palm is away, fingertips are grabbing the hammock. Other side, so bring the other edge and the other hand, the other hand's gonna come underneath. Fingertips grip around the outside. And then you're gonna bring a chicken arm, so elbow's gonna come through on both sides. So you've got these little chicken wings in place. The hammock should be over the shoulders. You're going to lean forward super slow and you should feel the hammock catch the shoulders here. If you don't feel the hammock catch the shoulders, maybe you come back and play with that chicken arm position again. Reaching up nice and high onto the hammock, so straight th straighten through the arms. 
this is your inverted encapsulated butterfly pose you're going to come out by bringing the feet through the center so chin into the chest see your feet see your legs bring the feet up above towards the sky knees will close together and you'll flip back into your shavasana bring the hammock over your head so I'm going to take a couple of breaths here so if you'd like to follow along for this next round then get inside of your hammock for your shavasana we'll take three deep breaths here for anyone who is following along the entire video take a big breath in long breath out resetting one more big breath in big breath out one more big breath in and big sigh out reaching up onto that back edge of the hammock, come into a little ball to so bend the knees, lifting up the head and shoulders, the hands can come around the outside of the hammock, give yourself a little hug, reach back onto that back side, lowering your head and shoulders to the ground outside of the hammock for inverted cobra. Option to keep the hands on the hammock or maybe release them, you're bringing the feet nice and wide, inverted goddess, feet will cl clasp around the hammock to that front side so if you look up you can see your feet are on the same side as your face beautiful you're gonna <laughs> release the feet the hands can reach up grip behind the knees widen through the legs and slide them back together notice that the hammock is over the toes still pulling up reach up nice and high bending wide through the knees soles of the feet together pulling up all the way shoulders lift over the hips and bring that back edge of the hammock through the middle of the hammock to the front. Finding your chicken wings here. So bring both edges into one side or into one hand. And then you'll re release that opposite hand underneath and grip the hammock from the outside. Find your little chicken wing, elbow's gonna tuck in. And other side. Gripping from the outside. And then elbow comes through. So you've got your little chicken wings in place, the hammock over the shoulders. Leaning forward, nice and slow. You can use your hands to help find that weight, that tension. Sending the head towards the ground. Take a moment here, take a breath. Allowing the neck to decompress, the hips to open. And then bring your chin into your chest. You're gonna bring your feet through above the hips. Knees will come together. You can use your hand grip to help control the flip inside of the hammock back into your Shavasana. Beautiful, and let's come all the way out. Bring the feet out, reaching up, and coming all the way out of the hammock. Thank you so much for joining me for your aerial yoga class today. If you would like to continue practicing the sequence, then please continue on smoothing out those transitions. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new here, click subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon, my friends. Until then, have a wonderful day. If you love this class and want to try another flow, then I recommend trying out this vinyasa aerial yoga class. Or if you're in the mood to learn a trick on the hammock, then take a look at my tree pose trick tutorial over here. Enjoy. Le Wait, do that again. Oh my gosh. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I forgot a pose. Cut. Rewind.